What's going on YouTube? In this video I'm going to be talking about the Synology NAS. I had purchased a uh, Synology DS112J about two and a half months ago from Amazon. I got it for about $150, yeah, $160 after uh, shipping. It sells for $149.99 and then it was about $10 shipping. And I gotta say, the past two and a half months, you know, I play with it just about every day. I have been tweaking it and I absolutely love it. And if you are looking for, you know, a basic starter server, I would highly recommend going with uh, Synology. Because there's a lot you can do with it. If you're planning on setting up surveillance cameras, you can set it up to completely monitor and record your videos. You can set up an iTunes server. Um, a syslog server. There's a lot you can do with it. So um, without further ado, let's just log into the Synology. When you first get your Synology, you're going to have to run the DS, DS Assistant. Um, the DS Assistant basically scans your network, finds the Synology, and from there you can load the DSM. DSM stands for Disk Station Manager. They're up to 4.2 right now. And after you load your DSM on it, you're going to have to choose an IP address. Now I went with the 192.168.1.10 port 5000. Port 5000 is the default port on the Synology. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, now I do have mine redirecting to a secure port which is port 5001. Now this is the desktop so to speak on your Synology. I have mine set up. Uh, it might look a little different than yours. You can set them up you know pretty much however you want. It's kind of um, like the setup features you can almost make it look like a regular Linux desktop. In the top right right here you'll notice I have uh, two notifications and if you uh, click on that it'll give you a breakdown of the you know past system events and what you see here is basically all IP addresses that have been blocked um, from here up is today. I have it set up where if somebody tries to get into my surveillance station and they type in the password wrong twice within two minutes, it'll block their IP address. So that's just one way of you know adding an extra layer of security into my um, Synology. And the, another uh, thing that I did, which I hi highly recommend you do this, if you're going to be accessing your Synology from the outside. Um, you know, on the internet, at your workplace, or on vacation, if your Synology is going to be visible to the outside network, I would recommend enabling this feature right here, the two-step verification. Two-step verification is basically, it's like the RSA secure, secure token, where it generates a six-digit number, and if you have a Android or iPhone, you can download the Google Authenticator app and it kicks out a new six digit code every 30 seconds and it is synced with your Synology and when you go to log in it will give you an op well it's mandatory you have to put in the six digit code in order to get past the login screen so that's just uh, a bonus right there for extra protection so once you get your uh, Synology if you are going to be using it for the surveillance station keep in mind it does come with one license each license costs about $50. I, I purchased three licenses. It came with one, so I have a total of four. And when you open up the Synology uh, surveillance station, it's going to open up in another window. It just takes a second, a second to load. And you can uh, customize your Synology to automatically send out email alerts um, if they if it detects any motion you can select which areas and what percentage on like how much motion ha would cause the trigger to send out the email all of that is customizable and I've been tweaking it for about oh, I would say two months now and I finally have it to where I like it And as you can see right here, I do have my four cameras set up. The one on the bottom that is disconnected right now because I'm trying to get it in another location where the wireless is going to have a good connection. Because where it was, it was a little bit too far away from my router. And I had to set up an access point and all that was you know, too much just for the, the one camera. So I'm in the process of relocating it. But 
what you can do after you log into your surveillance station up here you have live view you click on the live view and this will give you a view of all your cameras it does operate on Java so make sure you do have the latest Java installed yes for the certificate I am operating a what do I have I have a a 300 gigabyte hard drive in my Synology and I have my my cameras just record off motion I don't have them recording 24 hours a day it's pointless if you think about it if you can set up your motion detection to detect um, the right amount of motion you can actually have you can go back months you know I'm let's see if I click uh, go to Okay, it's a 250 gig hard drive that I have, and I have, we're in April, I can go back to, I believe, the first week of February when I started this, and I've only used 19%, and there's a lot of activity at this house, it records a lot, so just keep that in mind, you don't have to record 24-7, and you don't have to have that, you know, large of a drive, you're going to get a 250 gig hard drive and have enough um, recording for a couple months at least so um, back to the surveillance station this is the camera that was uh, I'm working on right now but you can see the live view of my other cameras and by far the best camera um, quality is this one right here this is the Logitech Alert 750E this uh, the Synology doesn't support Logitech right out of the box I had to go in um, using putty and edit the configuration file using the VI editor um, I had to basically add the um, the resolution the IP address any anything that had to do with the camera as far as the physical specifications of it I had to edit the configuration file so then I could point the Synology to it and as you can see now it's working it's crystal clear it's a wide-angle lens and this camera it's about $379 at Best Buy. It's worth every penny of it. I wish all of my cameras were the Logitech Alert. This one right here is a D-Link 2132L high definition camera. And this one down here, this is the D-Link 2310 power over ethernet high definition camera. Both these bottom ones are power over ethernet. The Logitech is the power over ethernet as well. They don't mention that in the box. When I opened it up, I saw that they gave a like a power line kit where it's, it's stated that you don't have to run any new wires. Just as long as you are next to a power outlet, you would have um, you would be able to connect it so it's online. And I didn't even use the power line kit. I figured, well, I have a power over Ethernet switch. I'll just plug it into that, and it should work fine. And it does. I think if they advertised it was power over Ethernet, they would actually sell a lot more of their devices. So, you can see right here on the top right, I, it says I have 48 messages. And since I was working on my network today, you can just see that it is a lot of disconnects and um, connection was restored. I was installing some power over Ethernet Cisco switches today, so my network has been up and down pretty much all day. Um, to go, you can go back. I'll just give you a, a little uh, glimpse of the timeline feature that they have right here. This is one of my uh, favorite features with the surveillance station because if you were running four cameras, you can have one in each window and you can simultaneously play them. Let's see where there's uh, where there was some motion. Okay. There's somebody coming out of my house. And you can see how it automatically kicks over when the next camera gets in range.
it's very accurate it's like it doesn't miss a beat if there's any motion at all it definitely captures it you know surveillance is good about uh a year ago i lived in a different house and my house actually got broken into we had a lot of uh, a lot of money stolen jewelry and you know i'm not about to have that happen again if it does i'm gonna make sure i catch them by having them on tape the due to the fact that the license cost fifty dollars each you know ever most people are going to be very limited on how many licenses they could buy um, my disk station only supports five cameras I'm utilizing four of them right now um, but I do have about 18 cameras throughout my house my four main ones are being uh, monitored on the surveillance station wow you see that bird right there <laughs> See, it catches everything, and uh, that's crazy right there. I didn't even uh, know that was there until now. But anyways, that was just a, a brief little rundown on the Synology uh, DSM. This is DSM 4.2. And you can pick this, this whole uh, system up for $149. It's a Linux platform, and, you know... In my next video, I will get into how you can access all of this from your work, or if you're on vacation, you can uh, still have access to all this, and you can see your your surveillance um, footage while you're while you're away. And that you know, I love that. If I'm at work, you know, I can uh, pull up a live view of my camera, see what's going on. I can play back footage, see who's been at my house. But in order to do all that, you would have to set up some sort of uh, dynamic DNS. Or if you know, if you have a static IP address and you know it, you, you don't need to set up the dynamic DNS. But dynamic DNS is good if you have a, a dynamic IP address that changes through DHCP. And we'll get into that in my next video. But uh, until then, uh, thank you for watching my videos and make sure to subscribe to my channels. I do a lot of giveaways. I just gave away a Canon T3 Rebel. The thing was brand new. Um, I actually gave that away last night. And I do have some other stuff that is uh, currently, uh, you know, I, I have videos on right now that I'm giving away. I think uh, I have about four tablets on. Um, from iPads to Galaxy tabs from the 7 inch to the 10 inch. I have a bunch of stuff so definitely subscribe and check it out and thank you guys for watching this video and I'll uh, see you guys soon. Take care.